All right, guys, very excited. I've had White Castle before, but this is really sad. I've only ever had it from the frozen food section. Um, so I'm in Ohio. Last night was the Cincinnati Nathan's Qualifier. Um, get into that a little bit later, but so excited for this. Only took about 20 minutes to get my food. Hopefully it's worth it. Um, I figured since I haven't been to an actual White Castle restaurant, yes, I'm calling it a restaurant, um, I figured I should get the breakfast. So, uh, didn't get too much, mainly because I'm still full of wieners, um, but also because uh, I'm hoping to have some Cincinnati chili later, and everyone told me to go to Skyline. But I talked to Derek Jacobs last night and he said I should go to Blue Ash. So we're going to try that out. Let's see what we got. Oh, they did give me napkins. Nice. I heard they were out. Oh, they totally forgot my donut. Shit. I don't even want to go back for it. It's like 33 cents. They have these cute little donuts. It's not worth it. The line is so long. It's like 10 gar cars deep. There's so many people in there. All right, we'll just eat my two sad sliders. And there are construction guys right across from me watching me do this. That's very convenient. I'm gonna roll up my window. Although I don't know if I should, it's really hot. Eh, it's 84 degrees now. Ooh, Ohio. All right. So we've got, this is new apparently, it doesn't look like much. It's the sausage and gravy toaster. It's a little baby sandwich. Hmm. I think it needs hot sauce. Some good gravy action there. Hmm. All right, I feel better now. <clears throat> I can't believe they forgot my donut. Oh well, I have coffee. That's the most important thing. Oh. My clock is so off because I just seriously flew in yesterday, red eye, got here in Cincinnati at mm, around 11 a.m., checked into my hotel early. They were really nice and let me do that. Showered, took a nap, went to the qualifier, went back, passed out, and then... Um, checked out at the, the last possible minute. So it's breakfast time now. Not a fan of the bread on this. It's kind of toasted at the edges, but it just makes it seem stale, not like toast. I do like how little the White Castle sandwiches are makes you feel like you're not overeating so you could eat like one or twelve and it'll be fine mm. I think I'm gonna have to turn the AC on Yeah, so it was a fun contest last night. Um, we all got tickets to the ball game. And the stadium is called, what is it? 
the Great American Ballpark, I think. I'd look it up, but I'm too lazy. I think it's called the Great American Ballpark, which I'm just so tickled by because at least all of the stadiums I've seen on the West Coast, they're all named for the sponsor. So like our, the Mariners Stadium is now, was it T-Mobile Park? Yeah, it used to be Safeco Field, but now T-Mobile is the, the primary sponsor, so it's, it's theirs. Um, but the Great American Stadium, not only is that like the perfect name for a stadium in the Midwest, in my opinion, because um, it was just overwrought with Americana, just super wonderful. Um, and of course, everybody's in red because it's the Cincinnati Reds. But uh, yeah, I guess that must mean that it belongs to the city. The stadium uh, is still owned by the city, I'm guessing. Tell me if that's right or wrong. I don't know. I might Google it later. If I'm so inclined. So yeah, we all got tickets to the game. I showed up. And the only person I recognized there was Derek Jacobs. And he was talking to someone. So I just sat in like my assigned seat. But there were probably mm, 20 seats in between us of people that probably were supposed to be competitors or have tickets to this game in our section that weren't there. Um, there weren't that many competitors last night. So anyway, uh, there was a break in the conversation. I went and talked to Derek and met this guy, John. Um, it was his first time doing a Nathan's qualifier. He did pretty great. He was hoping for 18, I think is what he said, and he got 11. Um, but he was thrown off by the Nathan's dogs because the casing, they're, they're a lot chewier than people realize. And I will say it threw me off too because I haven't been practicing with uh, with Nathan's hot dogs. I can't find the right the right type. We, ha we have Nathan's in Washington, but not the natural casing. Anyway, that's, that's boring. Um, so saw Derek. Ronnie Hartman was there with his new fiance. I think they just got engaged like within the past week. Um, Ashley, super sweet. Um, they're a very cute couple. Sophia DeVita was there with her boyfriend. I didn't get to meet him, but he looked like a cool guy. Uh, Matthew Rabel. Uh, I don't think I know the names of the other people. It was, it was pretty crazy, to tell you the truth. Super rushed. We signed our wa waivers. They took us downstairs. Um... Yeah, it was just kind of crazy uh, because because it's at the end of a ball game. The way the Cincinnati Reds have it set up, we have to rush out into the field, so there's no time for introductions. Um, you just go out there and you basically start eating right away, and then um, there's no time at the end of the contest because the ballpark wants to uh, start the fireworks show because people want to go home. Um, thankfully, the game uh, didn't go into overtime, so. That was good, but it still felt really, really r rushed. And what ended up happening was uh, Sophia and I tied, and usually there would be an eat off at the end. So we'd both eat a hot dog as fast as we could. Whoever eats it the quickest is the winner, right? Um, but there was no time for that. So George, George Shea, he was our MC, um, the George Shea, he uh, just looked at us and was like, uh, I'll let you know what we figure out for you two. Okay, sure. And Sophia very graciously told me I could take the trophy because she said she has three at home. Um, but I didn't feel right about it, so I left it on the table. Um, funny add-on to that story, this morning I got a message from Ronnie asking me if I had um, the the trophy. And I said, no, no, Sophia said I could have it, but I left it on the table. He says, well, I have the women's trophy. <laughs> so somehow... They gave Ronnie the women's trophy and the men's trophy was on the table when we left, I guess. I don't know what happened to it. So, oh well. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Didn't do as well as I would have liked. We weren't allowed to use any flavoring, um, not even powders added to our water. That's a rule the Cincinnati Reds have. And yeah, I haven't been 
practicing with that kind of hot dog, so no excuses, just just explaining where I'm at. Um, I think I did pretty well, though. I was terrified to compete with Sophia, and I realized like she hasn't been training at all, and I have. Um, so if that gives you an idea that uh, she just kind of walked in there and tied with me, um, she's freaking amazing. But um, I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. Well, call it a win. I thought for sure I was going to lose to her, so at least we tied. Okay, this is the classic uh, White Castle breakfast slider. You can get it with sausage or bacon. I got it with bacon. There's some cheesy goodness going on there. I really wish I had my little travel bottle of sriracha right now. That's all that's missing. Do they even have hot sauce at White Castle? I feel like they should. But I also understand that I'm in Ohio. Hmm. Yeah, so I got mine with bacon, since the other sandwich had sausage. And other fun events, if you at all enjoy the drama and trash talking of competitive eating, Joey Chestnut and Nick Weary were going at it on Twitter this morning. You should check that out. And by this morning, I probably mean a week ago. Because I'll probably post this late. But if you haven't seen it, Hmm. Oh man. When I was driving back to the hotel from the contest last night, <clears throat> I was in such a panic for like a little bit, but I was driving and so I refused, refused to look at my phone, but I had, I had it set up with the navigator and a notification popped up from Twitter, I think it was. And all I could see was it was from Eat Feats. And it was something about like, actually, it looks like actually Sophia DeVita did break the tie with, with Katie. Um, I was like, oh shit, did George, sorry, I cursed. Um, oh shoot, did George make a decision on what happened? And like, I just don't know because I'm driving back to the hotel, which was like 50 minutes away. It turned out that Ronnie Hartman had just posted a picture of himself and Sophia because George wanted a picture of the two of them because they're um, returning to Coney. I don't think George realizes I was at Coney last year, which is totally fine. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, he wanted a picture of the two of them. So Ronnie posted it. He said, we're going to Coney. Understandably, people thought that meant that Sophia had won. But as far as I know, we still don't know. I think there's two options here. One, they can have us submit videos of ourselves eating hot dogs as quickly as we can. I don't know if that's the best way to do that because it's not the same as an eat off at the end of a competition. It also means we could just try and try and try and only submit our best video. Sorry, the film cut out. But I'm out of sandwiches, so it's just me and coffee now. So I mentioned they could do two things. So one, 
I had the video idea. Never been done before as far as I know, but I don't know of anyone tying and them not having an eat off before either. So we're in new territory here. Second option, which Sophia and I both really like, is they just let us both go. I mean, we both ate 14, which, you know, isn't as great as some of the women that compete, but it's pretty darn good, um, in my humble opinion. So, yeah, maybe, hopefully, that would be lovely. Um, typically, there's at least one qualifier a year where no women show up for the division, so I'm sure there'll be space at the table for both of us. Um, we're both ranked eaters. So, yeah. Here's to hoping. Uh, I did see that Major League Eating made a Instagram post yesterday stating that there were three qualifiers and they, they named all three of us, so Ronnie, Sophia, and myself. But typically there's a tweet with the, the actual stats and I haven't seen that yet, so. Um, so I don't know. But. I'm still hungry. Those were really tiny sandwiches. So I think I'm gonna do a twofer and make another video today and go find some chili. Bye. All right guys, I did find uh, blue ash chili. It was amazing. I should turn the engine off. Eh, leave it running. Um, so I did find blue ash chili. I had some of their amazing chili mac. Um, it's just basic. Cincinnati style chili over chili um, over mac and cheese but the server did tell me uh, that the blue ash chili is a bit different than most of the local Cincinnati chilies like Skyline or what is it Gold Star she said that uh, theirs are a little bit more sweet um, but I definitely taste the cinnamon it was unique it's kind of a runny chili uh, which is interesting but it's good mixed with something. I don't know if I'd want just a bowl of it, but I liked it with the mac and cheese. They actually have a food challenge there. Um, it's chili mac and cheese with like a ton of fried jalapenos, I think, a, a full pound. The challenge in total is eight pounds, so there's no way in hell I was doing that today. Um, but I'm in downtown Cincinnati now. Um, there's one more stop I want to make before I head to the airport, and that is Tom and Chi. They also have a food challenge, but again, I wanted to eat all the foods, so um, if I had done a food challenge today, I wouldn't have gotten to try everything. I forget what this is called. I feel like I should look it up. It's uh, like the Funky Monkey or something like that. It's just bananas and hazelnut spread. Um, oh wow on a grilled donut. It sounded too good to pass up. Can I get a good... Yeah. Anyway, it smells amazing. I'm not usually one for sweets, but I've been eating a lot of salty things. There's a gentleman trying to talk to me. But I'm going to eat this. Who's still trying to talk to me? Hold on. Excuse me? What What do you need, sir? Um, I could totally buy you a sandwich when I'm done eating. Um, I don't have any cash on me, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, where are we going to get it at? I don't know. When I'm... When I'm done eating, there's a grilled cheese shop around the corner. Yeah, yeah. When I'm, hmm? Did I what? I'm eating now. Enjoy your meal, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That was unfortunate. Um, I would have totally bought him a sandwich. He seems annoyed I'm eating though. I think maybe he just wanted cash. Now my hands are covered and he's not. Hmm. That's too bad. This is really messy. 
This is not car food. You know, I'm sad. He seemed genuinely mad at me that I was eating. Anyway, um, so yeah, after this, headed to the airport. Um, this is really good. I should not be eating this in the car. Huh. Um. Head to the airport. Going back home. Super quick trip, but... Also fun. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had a grilled donut before. Mm -mm. Have a real treat. I think I'm going to be eating vegetables and cottage cheese for the rest of the week. Thankfully, I like those foods. Mm-hmm. I'm a sticky mess. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that was it. I think I tried all the foods I wanted to try while I was here. I mean, I'm sure there's ones I missed. So hopefully I'll come back. Yeah. I uh, got to do my qualifier. Hopefully that's the last one I have to do this year. We'll see. Um, got White Castle. Tried their breakfast. Never had that before. Got to try blue ash chili. Mm, so good. Super nice service, too. Weird thing. The server said the other thing that makes their chili unique is that they make it fresh weekly. Which I was like, oh, that sounds great. And then went, hmm. Because I'm pretty sure for most states food handlers code, that would mean they'd have to freeze it at some point during that week to keep using it. Which would make it not fresh. But maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. And ew, you don't. There are restaurants that don't make their chili fresh weekly. How long are you keeping that chili for? I digress. Got to have this amazing grilled donut. And uh, oh, it came with a fork. Maybe that's how I was supposed to eat it. This could have been useful. Oh, well. That's it. I am going to go home now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you get to eat all of the treats that you want. Bye.